welcome back to another video. I am bringing you what is in my kids boo baskets this year for Halloween 2023. This is something that I've been doing since my little guy was three months old on his first Halloween 11 years ago and just have added as I've added children. So uh, nothing too extravagant. We don't go, you know, too big in Halloween boo baskets, but just, you know, some fun items. Um, there is one item that is not here yet for each kiddo. Um, two of them got the other books. We have this one, this creepy crayon book, and it is by Aaron Reynolds. Um, we also ordered the creepy carrots book for my daughter, and then I ordered the scary pair of underwear. They're all from the same series of books for my youngest child, and then I ordered a book about Sue the Dinosaur for my oldest child who is very into Sue and dinosaurs. If you don't know, Sue is a T-Rex here at the Chicago Museum, the Field Museum, and he goes and sees her as often as he can. So <laughs> I'm going to bring you along, show you what's in the Boo Baskets for this year, and I'm just going to jump right in. Okay, so most of the items for the Boo Baskets came from Dollar Tree, the Target Dollar Spot, and the Walmart Dollar Area, except for those three books came from Amazon. And they were the most expensive thing in the basket, I believe. Yes, the books were the most expensive thing in the basket at like $10.49 for the two hardback books. And uh, my oldest son's was a little bit cheaper, like $6.99. So not too crazy. The bags themselves are bags that I got a couple years ago from Personalized Creations. And so they all have their name on them. Um, this We'll just start with my youngest son. His looks like this. And then I'll just pull out everything that's in them because they are pretty similar. So they each got a bath bomb. I got these at Walmart and actually these weren't from the dollar area. They were like three bucks uh, a bath bomb. And you know bath bombs are fun and they are, these are 100% vegan. So I do, you know, kind of worry about what's in the bath bombs. But we only do them every, you know, special occasion like uh, holidays, Halloween, and then like around Christmas they usually get a bath bomb. So not too terribly, too, not too terrible for them. Uh, they each got a cauldron and this was from the Walmart dollar area for 98 cents. And in there I'm just putting some candy and some goodies. So each of them got one of these uh, M&M, mini M&M containers. And then just some of their favorite candies, um, Halloween candies. And then also in these are, I grabbed a package of these little bouncy balls. And I just separated them and they're each getting a few. I'm also going to do the same thing for these, but I'm going to wait to open them until I give them their boo bags because they're like those sticky eyeballs that you throw and they stick to things. So each of them will get a few of, or each child will get a few of these as well. And then I'm going to give out boo baskets a little bit earlier than, I usually just give them out on Halloween and that's worked well for us. But this year we are going to be going to boo at the zoo. And so I'm going to give them probably that morning and just to have some, you know, some fun activities to do. And it'll be like a week before Halloween. Uh, in my son's basket also, um, these little uh, push-up uh, push lollipops. This He has the Jack Skellington. My shirt is also Jack. We are big fans of um, all Tim Burton movies, but Nightmare Before Christmas, Coraline being two of our favorites. Uh, I personally like Corpse Bride. My kids are into that one as much, but I love all Tim Burton movies. Uh, I grabbed also a package of these straws and just split them up so he's getting a ghost and a pumpkin. From, that was from Walmart as well. The sucker was from Walmart. From the Target dollar spot, these were a dollar. Just some fun, cute little socks to wear. You wear those to school uh, just for, you know, just some fun. Also from the Target dollar spot for a dollar, I grabbed these little guys that wind up and they walk, which I don't have a space for them to walk right now, but little wind up guys that walk in their head bubbles. From the Dollar Tree, I grabbed one of these little ghost thingies to do, um, to paint. Just a little fun activity in the morning when they get their bag. Also, uh, they're always looking for paper. My sons are really into Jurassic World, Jurassic Park um, dinosaurs, so I just got him a notebook from the Dollar Tree so he can go ahead and use this to draw and write. The big thing and the, that's filling up the back of their item are these like cardboard. Um, this is a haunted house. It was a dollar or was twenty five from the Dollar Tree, 
and I will let them decorate this however they want and put it in their room. Down in the bag from the Walmart dollar spot, a glow necklace to wear on Halloween. This is just a glow bug. And then I also got him a glow mask. It's also from Walmart. From the Target dollar spot, he is getting one of these Silly Sense um, Play-Doh. They really enjoy Play-Doh, all three of them, so that'll be a fun little activity also. From Target, I got him some Tic Tacs. They're going to get all kinds of candy on Halloween, so, um, you know, and they have more candy in here, so candy on top of candy on top of candy, and Tic Tacs are, are just kind of fun, and you can use them besides just Halloween. But they like to, my daughter likes to put like mints in her backpack, so that'll be fun. Two more items here, one being this, this really cute Palmer's chocolate balls, uh, just has the cute little Frankenstein, so these were like a dollar or something at Walmart. And then this also from Walmart, he is into Sour Patch Kids, so I got him the Sour Patch Zombies. That is everything, I believe, let me just double check, yep, that's everything that's in his basket. So I will get that put back and we'll go on to the next one. Okay, moving on to my next son. He's my oldest child. His bag looks like this. Starting out with their big, his big cutout to decorate is a ghost. And these were at the Dollar Tree. I got these like two months ago at the Dollar Tree. So I don't know if they're still there, but at our Dollar Tree, they had a whole bunch of these crafting wood pieces. Also from the Dollar Tree, he got a ghost to go ahead and paint. In his cauldron, same stuff. So he got a bath bomb, and just this little skeleton guy, and then some of his favorite candy, and then also some of the little bouncy balls just thrown in there. His socks from Target are skeleton feet and these are not going to fit very well but that was all they had so <laughs> I'm just gonna use them uh, you can maybe get like one wear out of them but he is as tall as I am he's 11 years old so uh, yeah he's a big kiddo uh, his straws are just two of the pumpkin straws these were from Walmart he also got a dinosaur notebook from Dollar Tree and I got these at back to school. I just have been saving them. A lot of the stuff that I do grab, I'd grab um, during different times of the year. Uh, so just kind of save it in a bag in the closet and then I kind of use what I need as we get closer to, you know, holidays like for stocking stuffers and for Easter baskets and stuff like this. So uh, he got the o Oogie Boogie uh, Lollipop from Walmart. Also some Tic Tacs, his little guy is a skeleton guy from Target that winds up. And then the same stuff that you saw. He doesn't like gummy stuff uh, all that much, so I got him some Junior Mints instead of the Sour Patch Kids. Um, his mask from Walmart is in the skeleton guy and his little glow bug is green, his necklace. And the last two things, his Play-Doh is just this little green monster guy. And then his uh, chocolate candies are in this um, vampire, this very cute vampire. And that is everything in his boo basket. And I'll move on to my daughter's basket. Okay, my daughter's basket. Our bag, her boo bag looks like this. And where do I want to start? Maybe her cauldron. Just the same thing that you've seen. The candy. Her bath bomb just says boo. And then same thing. Candy and those bouncy balls. Her socks from Target are these cute little spider socks. Spider and stars. The straws that she got were her favorite color is yellow, so I got her the yellow straw and then just some some pumpkins. Her uh, 
Dollar Tree painting guy is this really cute skull. Her little wind up dude from Target is a ghost. Anything that I can get in yellow for her, I get so her Play Doh is yellow. And her glow bat from Walmart, her necklace is also yellow. Her notebook is in the Disney Princess. And it's just also just the white, wide rolled journal paper. Her item to decorate from Dollar Tree is a witch with the cauldron. She'll love doing this. I'm probably we're probably gonna do this just with like Posca paints. That'll be a fun activity. Her Tic Tacs are the yellow sprite. She does like sour candies. I got her some Sour Patch Zombies from Walmart. Her mask is this Frankenstein mask. She got the mayor from the uh, lollipops and mayor has the scared side on the other side of his face. It's really cute. And the last thing is her chocolate um, Palmer candy. My hair is on it. It's in the zombie guy. And that is everything. That's everything that I got. All three of them for their Halloween boo bags. Not going too crazy. I wanted to, you know, save some money in the budget for going bigger on Christmas stuff and uh, stocking stuffers. If you saw last year's video for Christmas, I didn't post a boo bag from last year. I don't know why. I just didn't get to it, I guess. Um, but boo bags were a little bit bigger last year than they are this year. We have just moved across the, uh, the country, so we are, you know, on a tighter budget. But I think that this is plenty of items and will be very exciting for them to open, um, especially a week before Halloween. And then Halloween, I think around here where we live is going to be very special because there's already tons of decorations and we live, you know, in an actual neighborhood. So the, there will be lots of trick-or-treating, so I think it will be very exciting for them either way. So that is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed. We'll consider sticking around and subscribing and I will see you in the next one. Bye.